just watch Pop Life. Yes. 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 You wouldn't have, but anyway. <laughs> How old are you? 14. 14. Yeah. I won the World Championship in 1997, 25 years ago. You were minus 11. <laughs> <laughs> you actually know who I am, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I grew up listening to Pop Black. Ted Lowe, yeah. 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 for those of you watching in black and white, the blue is next to the brown. <laughs> <laughs> he also said once, live on the BBC, Fred Davis, remember Fred Davis used to play? Yeah, yeah. And he was 65 years of age, he got to the semi-final of the World Championship. Yeah, no. And he was one of the first players that, you know, if he couldn't reach with his right hand, he could play Andy Dexter, his left hand, just like Ronnie could do now, you know, but he was one of the first players on TV. And live on BBC Grandstand, he goes, well, Fred Davis, he was trying to get him one pot of blue into the corner, I couldn't reach it, slid off, played it, left hand, the pot it. And Fred, uh, Ted Lowe goes, live on BBC Grandstand. Well, he goes, Fred Davis, all of 65 years of age, finding it now hard to get the leg over, <laughs> <laughs> and now he prefers to use his left hand instead. <laughs> <laughs> John Virgo in the commentary box. We had the 40 year anniversary 2017 of the Crucible, it's been there since 1977. And John Virgo was with Willie Thorne in the commentary box. And it was a Saturday morning session, semi finals, Mark Selby against Marco Phil. Not the quickest players in the world. <laughs> but. In the 40 year history, they had the longest frame at the Crucible that morning. And it was in the first session, it was like the second frame. It was 78 minute frame. And the fourth frame was the second longest frame in the history of the Crucible. It was a 68 minute frame. And Willie, God rest his soul, he put the microphone down. Obviously, the concentration wasn't there. He forgot to switch off the red button. <laughs> and this is where it gets really interesting. Because if you don't switch off the red button, everybody who's got the earpieces listening can hear exactly what you're saying in the commentary box. And of course, everybody on TV, you know, watching at home, can hear what you're saying in the commentary box. John Virgo didn't see the red button either. Considering this is a Saturday morning session, and Virgo goes, well, Willie goes to Virgo. He says, uh, well, John, this is a real look forward to this match, but it's absolute crap. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo, in his inimitable voice, goes, well, he goes, I was hoping to watch a bit of racing this afternoon. <laughs> now it looks like I won't even see fucking match of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody cracked up. And they said, what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? the red button. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, listen, I've made my own gaff in the commentary box myself. It was a few years ago. Rory McLeod, does anybody know Rory McLeod? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's playing a, he's, so for those of you who don't know, he's a, the Rory sort of black player on the top, Afro sort of Caribbean, but nice lad, he was in the top 40 at the time, he's playing at the Crucible, and he's looking at a black into the corner pocket, and he wasn't quite sure where it could go, it was quite tight. And I'm in the commentary box once again with the great Willie Torn, and you always have to be careful when you're in the box with Willie because of the name, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> so Rory McLeod, He's playing this black in the corner. I picked up the, the microphone and I pressed the red button. That was my first mistake. My second mistake was, I said, well, Rory, he's got a tough black, will he? I he's got you try and dig yourself out of it, you know what I'm saying? He's got a tough black with you and it looks very, very hard. <laughs> <laughs> and at this time, William is in convulsions in the, in, the, in the commentary box and I finished off by saying, he's got a tough black with looks very, very hard, but I think it just about squeezes up. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, that was commentary. But anyway, it's great to have the snooker back on the TV because we had the COVID and everything like that. So it's good to have the crowds back. And uh, it's great to be here for the first time, Dewsbury, after tonight. I know I won't get invited back, so uh, <laughs> thanks very much for coming along. Let's have a few days here. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the first picture of my main player? <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh, of course, man. So 
Mr. Nathan Walton. Go on, That'll be your taxi now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, Neff. 